How are you everybody? Welcome to Curse of Salvage. I am Scotty and today it's not a salvage. It is a chorus of We Buy Any Car. Thankfully, I was able to save this from going to We Buy Any Car and I got it for an absolute steal. I'll come on that later though and say thank you very much to the seller. However, it's a 2014 Citroen C3 VTR Plus, I believe. 55,000 miles on, and it's got nothing wrong with it. Um, the dash is saying it's got light out. I've checked them all. Got a random person to check the brake lights for us. She says they're all on, so, you know, trust the randomness. Um, it's got a tiny little ding here. It is rather dirty. Right, this is like encrusted on dirt. The boot is just your standard drain swamp. Boot's actually a really good size for the um, size of the car. Car does need the track and doing. Steering wheel's probably about four, five degrees off. Um, again, it's kind of just general dirt in the car more than anything else one thing that really surprised us obviously i've mentioned i'm six foot three i've actually got to have the seat pulled a tiny bit forward to drive it comfortably interiors canny the sound system's actually really good in it but uh, yeah a bit of wear on the carpet there but not really thingy does need a service but because this isn't a salvage and hopefully it's a quick flip. I'm going to take the garage, get them to service it, get an MOT, kill whatever random music artist that was, and get it cleaned. I don't even think I'm going to touch it myself. So we'll see how this goes. Even though I'm going to take this to get valeted, I have noticed like this swamp runoff goo that I mentioned door sills and stuff like around there and then I have to put fuel in I doubt that's ever been clean in its life so just simple stuff like that I'm going to give a bit of a clean before I get valeted because I know they won't do it but it's real so you know fun times I've got to say I've actually been quite enjoying dipping around driving this for fun um, it's really not as bad as I thought it would be one thing I hate though, they're the indicator stalks. This stupid thing, I don't know what it is. Cruise control and then audio stuff over here. I hate it. What a stupid place to put things. So I'm getting it valeted right now, and I tell you what, this is an experience. I've never been in a car so little where the car actually rocks side to side when they're cleaning it. Obviously, I would normally do it myself because I seem to have a fleet of cars at the minute. I haven't got the space, so I'm just paying for it. And to the person I bought it off, because I know you'll be watching, you should be ashamed. Even these have just said, ah, very dirty. <laughs> Told you it was minging, mate. Mate, when there's dirt like that, you know it's minging. Yeah, it is dirty. You sure? So the vault of this, and I must say, uh, it's not entirely to my standard. I mean, look at all this crap here. That's still there, man. It was only 20 quid, and I suppose in 2024, with 20 quid, you don't really get a great deal. But they haven't cleaned up here properly. This need that needs a proper clean. That's still dirty. But I just couldn't be bothered to whinge at them. I will say they've done a better job on the outside. Still not exactly pristine, like we've still got I mean, that's a bit of rust. Now there's actual like shine to it though. They've somewhat attacked the alloys, which I don't blame them because I hate clean alloys regardless of how many spokes are there. It does now show a little bit more damage on the wing mirror here and the bit on the boot. I hadn't really realized. How have they missed that? How? But yeah, a bit of a mark here. 
and then obviously the damage I showed previously that haven't been able to get all of the roof clean you can still see black flecks there but for what the car is and what it's worth that is going to make somebody a very happy little car change your mind here like and expect a lot more for 20 quid this hasn't been touched around the latch absolutely minging the door minging it was the same on the other side sills still minging here absolutely honking now anybody in the northeast this is the cleaning place just off the red Jew, at the red Jew, at the shell garage it used to be amazing that's absolutely lifting that's been hoovered apparently people not happy not happy oh another lovely mot could do with a tire and front brakes but it's through low mileage shiny clean let's get it sold wait a minute hold up interlude so you hear to talk about this car i don't know if i ever introduced you haven't done it officially yet to the slug if you want to know about that put in the comments below because that's a salvage but i'm here to talk about this menace now obviously i'll put the video live of the volvo if you haven't seen that go watch it yeah then people have come back now um so i told a party at the end of that that i'd made 26 percent loss or something like that 25 percent um no that's what i expected to me however the car would not sell obviously it will not sell it's still there however i've had to drop the price you've seen all if you've seen the video you've seen all the work that's went into it and honestly somebody is getting an absolute steal i'm selling it for a thousand pounds that's it a thousand pounds the clutch flywheel obviously messed up on the jobs on that spoilers tires battery parts all of that comes to about 1500 quid and then all the labor on top the actual purchase of the car in total it actually cost me two and a half grand however by the end of this video the sale of this little car plus the money from the antara will actually make us roughly break even but uh enough of that interlude back to this video well the maguire's got this off Crayon, something. It's lessened these random marks on the side, which looks like coffee. Yeah, kind of get them all off. I've attacked the roof. It's got a hell of a lot of the black marks off now. I don't know how noticeable it was on camera before, but it was horrendous. Because attack the bonnet, attack the engine, and hopefully now I'll sell it. And uh, you'll get another video very quickly. Ooh, what's up in the background? So that little clip was for all the little pervs in the last video. You know who I'm talking to. Who uh, kept looking at my feet. Gotta pay for that in the future. God, just because you wear flip-flops, people kick off. Um, no, this wasn't something I planned to do, but... I don't know if you can see there or not. Eh. The timing belt is rather chewed up. Don't know why, don't know how. Because I've never said this, or didn't say I don't think. But the engine was brand new at 20,000 miles. And it's only got 36,000 miles on. How on earth does that already need a brand new timing belt? So I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to give this a quick service. And then I have to get the garage to see the time belt. Hopefully, there's still profit on it. Wait. Just thought that, that was me dropping my phone. Wait, this hasn't gone to plan. So basically, I didn't have a bit that I could get the thing off with. It was too tight, so I had to use it as a good dugger. And then I haven't got a three eighths to half inch adapter. Only the other way around. And <laughs> this 
it just leaked straight away and the threads are proper long so this is nice and messy Mmm, yum. Got a nice, lovely, moist ring there. Ugh. And find the thread. And then tighten that up with those because you know, can't really do it at the minute. I need two hands. You know, this confuses at first. I was like, where's the airbox? But I'm assuming this is because air, yeah, mm, sure it is. I know people love German cars and Japanese cars. I've never heard anybody say they love French cars. When you've got to remove the actual airbox to do an air filter change, it's a bit of a joke. Wow, what a transition. And then out of the walls, this thing threaded. So I've had to use needle nose, no, more grip things, which I hate. I hope this is minging. This better have been worth it. Jesus. Eh, it's kind of bad. I mean, you can't see it yet because of my amazing photography skills. Ah, that's, that's kind of bad. Just to do the compare. Now, that back on there. That back in there in a pollen filter. If you've been watching the channel and the previous videos, you'll know I love changing pollen filters because I just love to see how dirty they are. That was a pain in my hoop, changing the air filter. Pollen filter in these are very much like 2000 ish, so they're actually in the engine. I have had a little spy, haven't took it out yet, but uh, just so you're aware, that's white. This is dirt from opening the hatch. I don't know if these have ever been done. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my good God. And there's actually two in here. There's a little one that slides out. Honestly, people, man. Change it. Palm filters. <laughs> That's the air that you're breathing inside the cabin when the pollen filters are that bad. Well, since it was a bit of a different video, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a different outro area. Um, let us know in the comments below if you prefer, if you only want to see core part salvage videos or if you kind of just want to see my car journey because the last this car the Citroen you just watched and then the next car which is a part x technically against the volvo which i didn't want definitely didn't want the volvo um a part x against the volvo for me i'm happy to just put all cars that i purchase up unless it's the same car like if i buy another white Citroen c3 there's no point in showing that because it's the exact same car you just watched Anyway, so yeah, um, sad and happy with the Citroen. I did fully expect to at least make a grand profit, but it turns out that during the summer of 2024, nobody wants to buy cars. Nobody. Um, when I noticed that the time belt needed doing, obviously when I was doing it, I was questioning if you can hold your time belt or and just leave the pulleys, which technically, yes, you can, but I never want to sell a questionable car uh, mainly because my late mother would be cursing me and would, would she should get revenge if I ever did. 
I might sell a car I don't realise is dodgy. But that's just on me being thick. Uh, yeah, so with that, I uh, bought the car for a grand. Cheers, mate. I thought I'd at least get two, three, two, four for it. However, due to the market and the mention that the cam belt needed doing, I've managed to sell it and make 500 quid profit. I'm never going to win your profit. Profit's profit. And as long as I break even during all of this, then I'm kind of a happy, bu happy bunny. And technically, all I've done for that is valet the car, get it MOT'd, and service it. Service it for 500 quid profit. Aye, I'll take that, like. So, uh, yeah, let us know what you want done in the comments. Do you just want to see salvages, or do you want to see my entire car journey along the way? Like, share, subscribe, and all that, and put in the comments below what you want to see. But until next video, this is me, Foxtrot, Oscarin.